Hey everyone, this is Ed from Tech Talk. I have a quick tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to fix your font if it's been changed. And I'm also going to show you how to intentionally change the font if you want to try a different font. So basically, I'm going to show you how to set your Windows default back to default. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to do it manually just in case it works. I find a lot of times in Windows 11 it does not work. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click in search and you're going to type in font and then you'll see a fonts control panel. Go ahead and click it. And once it opens, click on the left hand side font settings and then click restore default font settings. And then you can just close out of this and restart your computer. If that doesn't fix it, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a fix font registry edit and it's really simple to do don't be afraid to try it down in the description i've put down some code that i want you to copy and then i want you to right click on your desktop anywhere and click go to new and then new text document and then i want you to go in and copy the code that paste the code right inside that new text document and then once it's done, just make sure you go up here and hit backspace. Just make sure that there's no space there. If you have a space there, it's going to throw an error when you try to run this code. So now we just need to file save. So we're going to go file, save as, and then we're just going to name this whatever you want. For example, I have fixed font, and I'm just going to add .reg at the end of it, .reg, and then hit save. Now I already got here, so I'm not. I'm going to say no. So once that's done you're going to go ahead and double click the fix font click yes to the security warning click yes to the okay and now you notice that the font has gone back to normal already if it hasn't just reboot your computer and you should be all set make sure you hit restart now, if you want to change your font intentionally, go ahead and copy the change font code and do the same thing. You're going to create another text document by right clicking, go to new and then text document. And then you're going to paste the code right in there. And again, make sure that there is no space up here. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. Now we need to define what we want the new font to be so on the bottom here you can see new font so we can go ahead and remove that so that we just have the no nothing in between and now we're going to go into windows i mean if you know what the font is already you can go ahead and just paste it in there or type it in there so if you don't know what font you want there's an easy way to see the font so the, you can you can tell if you like it or not so go ahead and right click on the start flag and then go to system and then personalization and then scroll down until you see fonts and then here's where you can go ahead and test your font out so find a font in here that you think you might like and uh just for the fun of it I'm going to go ahead and select this one and I'm going to go ahead and type up here, you know, test font to see, because that's what it's going to look like um, when you're done. So this is exactly what it'll look like. So if you like it, so once you find the font anyways, um, you're going to go over here in the middle of here right in between these uh, quotations and you're going to type the font exactly the way you see it with the space and then ITC in my case and then I'm going to go ahead and file save as and we're going to do the same as same exact thing as we did before we're going to type dot reg at the end of it you can name it anything you want just make sure you have dot reg at the end hit and I'm because I changed the font this time and I'm going to close this so now the change font here I'm going to go ahead and double click this just like we did I'm going to hit again and then 
Okay. And you're not going to see that the font has changed yet. So we need to reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot the computer so we can see what it looks like. Okay, my computer is restarted. And as you can see, the font has been changed. So let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you have any trouble, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a great day. Thanks.